Meghan Markle and her husband Prince Harry stepped down from their roles as senior royals two years ago. Their exit sent shockwaves through the royal family and reportedly forged a rift between them and the firm. Initially, Harry and Meghan were hoping for a half-in, half-out deal, whereby they would spend time in both the UK and North America. According to the Sussex Royal website, Meghan and Harry wanted to continue to represent and support Her Majesty the Queen, while having their own income and the ability to pursue their own private charitable interests. But this plan was rejected, and the Sussexes have since spent most of their time in the US. However, royal commentator Kinsey Schofield believes that their part-time return could be possible under Prince Charles's kingship, noting his forgiving nature and soft heart. She told Express.co.uk, I think that Prince Charles has a very soft heart and first think he's desperately in love with Prince Harry, he loves Prince Harry. He doesn't like his actions but Prince Harry is his DNA and he does hurt when they're not talking, he does hurt when things aren't on the right path and I think he's anxious to start the healing process. I think that Prince Charles is very big, the founder and creator of LA-based royal site, to die for daily. Com, recalled the royal family's history of forgiveness, referring to Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex's welcome into the family in the early noughties. Ms. Schofield said, I think that Sophie and Edward are a great example of forgiveness within the royal family because they attempted what Harry and Meghan are attempting now. They attempted to half in half out, Sophie wanted to continue with her PR firm and Edward wanted to be a producer, he wanted to produce content, and when they kind of got in trouble for mixing that royal element in with their day-to-day -day monetized businesses, and they were humiliated, the royal family allowed them to come back in. Forgiveness is possible, this family's very forgiving. She added, I don't think that is out of the question. However, Ms. Schofield admitted that the Sussex invitation would not be immediate. She said it would not happen, at first because I think they've not only infuriated and hurt the royal family, but the worst part is they've infuriated the public, they've hurt the public with some of their actions. It was reported that Harry's relationship with his father, Charles, was particularly strained following the Sussex exit. This was later exacerbated by a tell-all interview with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey. Here, the Duke and Duchess said they had struggled during their time as working royals, and that they had felt unsupported by the firm. Harry also claimed that his father had previously stopped taking his calls. He also commented on Charles's position in the monarchy, saying that the Prince of Wales was trapped. More than a year on from the interview, it's been reported that Harry and Charles have been in contact. However, Charles is yet to meet his granddaughter, Lilibet Diana, Meghan and Harry's younger child who was born in June last year. Since Harry was absent from his grandfather Prince Philip's memorial service last month, speculation has risen regarding whether or not he will return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Her Majesty reached an unprecedented milestone earlier this year when she became the first British monarch to have reached 70 years on the throne. In celebration of her long reign, the nation is pulling out all the stops with an extended bank holiday weekend. Between Thursday, June 2nd to Sunday, June 5, 2022, the Platinum Jubilee celebrations will include the annual Trooping the Colour Parade, a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's long reign and the Derby at Epsom Down. Whether Harry and Meghan will return and what roles they would play remains unknown.